What's up, guys? Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today's video, we're going to watch the fight together. Uh, Boy Cow versus Sanchai. It just happened, I think it was last weekend, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, well, I was watching it. Then I thought to myself, why don't I watch it with you guys and make a reaction video? So this is going to be great. Uh, I've never, you know, I haven't watched it yet. So this is going to be me watching it for the first time and then commenting on it. So this is a fight between legends. These Both these guys, they know each other. They're, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're Muay Thai um, athletes, you know, um, martial artists. And yeah, these guys are, it's insane that these guys are actually fighting and they're doing it bare knuckle on top of that. So, which is even more insane. Now with um, Boy Cow, like you guys just look them up right boy cow so b-u-a-k-a-w right and you're gonna see like you know you you look at his uh his um his achievements and you're like holy smokes and then you watch highlights uh sanchai the same thing now what's interesting is that sanchai is actually um a pretty small guy actually and he's known to beat the living crap out of bigger dudes right and he's still doing it now and I'm not sure what the story, the backstory is behind all this, but it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. It was actually kind of uh, sad, actually. It's cool that they're they were actually gonna fight. Like these two legends of this caliber, right, are going to meet. But it was kind of sad for a lot of people, I think, because they're they're friends, you know. But hey, money. And I I personally think that they've been um, they're able to separate, uh, you know, their emotions when it comes to this. So it's it's a sport. It's fighting. And that's all it is to them. It's just business. You know, they could still go have the most likely they probably went out and uh, had some food and, and chilled together and drinks afterwards. So let's not uh, delay too much here. Let me set this up. And uh, voila. So, oh, by the way, wait, wait, let me just go back to this a second. Somebody mentioned that I was filming in my toilet. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm in the kitchen, guys. So see. Okay, another chair. Watch, watch, watch. There you go. Does this look like a toilet to you? Like, no. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in uh, I'm in Austria, Vienna. So um, there's no, the toilets aren't, you know, uh, integrated into the kitchen. So there you go. Problem, mystery solved. Right? Uh, all right, let's do this. All right, let me play this video. I'm going to kill the volume because, well, I want to talk. All right, check it out. Insanity, man. Insanity. So size difference. <clears throat> and somebody actually said uh, it was Gabriel Varga. He made a video. He's uh, on YouTube as well. Six-time world kickboxing K1 champion. He was like, these guys are actually going at it. So this is going to be insanity. Bam, T right there, you know. And notice they're not in a ring, so I didn't know they were going to do like a ring slash. I don't know if that's octagon. Ooh, high kick like that. But obviously, I'm not surprised you didn't get that because, oh, that's at the beginning. And, uh, you know, Boy Cal, super experience. Both of them are. Look at the size difference, though, man. I, I don't know what the weight is on these guys. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at how Sanchez looks. He looks like a, he looks like a, like, it's limit, but it's almost that bad. Oof, oof, look at that. Bare knuckle, man. Insanity. So for those of you guys, oh, beautiful kick. So for those of you guys who's like, ah, oh, you know, uh, you know, it's sport. It's not, uh, you know, self-defense, blah, 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 blah. Uh, somebody wrote me recently, which I'm going to make a vid another video to elaborate on, but talking about pads and all that. And they're like, oh, if you're training with pads, it, you know, it's not real. And if you have mats, it's not real. And, you know. There's more to it than that. It kind of made sense, but at the same time, there was a lot of things I disagree. Holy shit. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. But guys, do you guys, ooh, yeah, they're, they're throwing hard, man. Do you guys think that these guys wouldn't be able to self-defense, to defend themselves against people? Come on, man. Look at these savages. And they've been doing Muay Thai their whole life. You know, and Muay Thai, honestly, the most complete striking art. Ooh, he that, that. Bam. Wow. Tough, tough, tough. Bam, bam, bam. Look at that. Holy smokes. It's Muay Thai, man. You know, and they're doing a bare knuckle here. So, guys, there's no shin guards. You know, there's maybe a cup in there. 
And yeah, you guys might say that, uh, oh yeah, but you know, if it was a real thing, I'd kick them in the nuts. Like whoever's saying that, you guys, you guys are fools. Like you, you don't know what you're talking about. If you're thinking that these guys don't know how to kick people in the balls, if they wanted to kick them, like uh, if it was, if it was legal, you know, they would fight differently and they would, you know, aim for the balls. And they could probably kick balls better than most of you guys who only do self-defense stuff can kick balls. You could practice kicking balls for 20 years and you won't be as good as these guys. Uh, you know, and all you have to tell them is like, oh, you're allowed to kick balls and they would kick your balls. All right. So enough about balls. Man, these guys are going at it. Holy shit. They always got caught there. Damn. See, being the taller guy. That's the thing. If you're fighting taller guys, man, and, and there's kicking a lot, you got to, your hands have to be, have to be there, have to be ready. You know, so even, even the best of the best make mistakes, man. You know, uh, they misread. They were slightly distracted or thinking of something else, whatever, you know, but you know, concepts are important and not to say that, um, I could have done better. Right. I would have probably ate that shot as well. And don't know if I would have lived, but Hey, now here we go. Round two. Yeah. 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 So let's see what's going to happen. But what I'm saying is that, that you think these guys have issues, uh, self for self-defense, man. You think these guys are worried, you know, even, when, Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, that's like a calf kick practically, you know, at the bam. Bam. Yeah, the size difference, man. That's that's what's hurting Sancho right now. And it's against a guy who's very, very experienced as well, right? It's not just uh like most of the most of the uh, tuna cans or tomato cans that he beats. Like, yeah, they're bigger than him, but they're not I think they give him too much respect and they're scared of him from what I've seen, right? Like I've been watching enough of those fights, but from the highlights that I've seen him beating up like these uh bigger dudes. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, these guys are pros, man. Pros. Like right now, they're in the fight. They still have that respect thing, but they they they, they want to knock each other out because <laughs> that's just the thing. Like you're, even if your best buddy hits you hard, <laughs> you kind of want to get him back. So wow, wow, man! Look at those spinning uh, spinning fists, man. Oh. Boom, boom. Yeah, so that's the thing, man. And you see how, like, like this is as close as you get to two guys brawling in the streets, right, without going to the ground, you know? Oh, I mean, who actually know how to fight. But you, you put these guys up with, against traditional guy, uh, TMA guys who, who don't do, like, sparring or who, haven't done, who do very little or, or within the context of their art. Oh, he dumped them. Look at that. Being, being uh, boy Cal being a douche, man, you know, doing that to his friend, getting away with it, you know, getting into his part in, into, into Sanchai's head there, you know, throwing them around, showing them, hey, hey, bitches, you know, I'm too big for you, I'm too big, fool, I'm too skilled. Oh, yeah, yeah, what you gonna do? Oh, yeah, you're gonna punch me, ah, whatever. See, yeah, know your place, you know, you, you know how I think this fight started, man. I think that these guys were like having a sit around, having a beer. Uh, eating and be like, yeah, you know, how much money do you think we, we, we'd be able to make, man? You know, if we fought, ah, probably a lot, man. Yeah, but we're friends. Yeah, but you know, just so you know, I'd I'd whoop your ass. You're too small for me. Maybe Boy Cal said some of that, and Sanchez like, hey, dude, I'd, you think you think? And then it, it probably went like that, and it was an ego thing, and they got into some kind of, and they're like, okay, okay, all right, let's do it. Let's do it for the money, and uh, you know, let's put our money where our mouth is, and why not? We're at the end of our, we're getting old. Let's make a big chunk of money. You know, we can retire. We could, you know, open a school and all that. And yada, yada, yada. I, I think, I think something like that happened. Uh, and yeah, that's, oh, by the way, guys, I'm wearing this hat because my hair is all over the place. I'm letting it grow. Um, you know, I'm not trying to copy uh, Jesse, uh, uh, Grandmaster Jesse from, uh, from Mexican martial arts. Look at this. Yeah, so what I'm saying, look, it's bare knuckle, guys. No protection except the cup and probably the mouthpiece, you know, but goddamn, these guys wouldn't have an issue. Whereas if you meet a guy like this and you only did some kind of TM, so whether it be, let's say, Wing Chun, Krav Maga, or, you know, anything that has no sparring uh, element to it that don't emphasize a lot of sparring, then, like, look at these guys. Bam! Hey, what the? Oof, they're going at it. 
I mean, yeah, they would they would wreck. They would wreck. Well, heck, heck they, they'd wreck guys. They, these guys wreck guys in their own sports. So, you know, maybe that's not a fair assessment. But oh, beautiful! Did you see that? It was an exchange of elbows, and uh, Sanchai Sanchai won that exchange. I mean, sometimes it's hard, guys. Like you're looking at these exchanges; they go so fast. Oh yeah, and those aren't those aren't thrown like at half speed. Yeah, that's the thing with the high kicks. I think Boy Cow's doing that on purpose, man, just dumping them, you know? Dumping them each time, maybe to prevent them from kicking high. Hmm. Man, I don't know how many rounds this is, but god damn, it's so exciting. Whoa! Oh, he keeps it's the, it's those calf kicks, man. You know, because he brings up his legs, but then Boy Cow's like, no, nope, I'm gonna kick them like calf, like calf kicks. Ooh, that was check. You know, but their condition. And you don't feel any of that in a fight anyway, like adrenaline. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I notice as though I think Ball Cow's like, uh, he's hurt, man. Or is it strategic? I don't know what you guys think. Wow. You know, some of you guys who are uh, Muay, Thai, Muay Thai experts, you got to comment down below, man. Like, I'm still a student of this game. I'm a student of, of martial arts in general. Bam. Bam. But I love this shit. Oh, yeah. I love practicing it, too. Watching it is, oh, oh. We got doubled up. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Sasha is losing, man. Size, man. Size. Yeah, those head kicks. Off balance, you know. It's just too high. That's the, that's the problem. And and Boy Cow just has too much experience. Holy shoot. Yeah. Size matters, man. To a certain degree, of course. I mean, these guys are... Oh, he did get him. Okay, okay. Oof, oof, oof. God damn. He's like, oh, you hit me? Uh, I'll kick you back. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, you better be. <laughs> Holy shit. So much respect for the guys. Yeah, you see? So I don't know what you guys think, man. Can friends fight each other? Well, they obviously agree with that. They're, they're, they're down. You know, make some money. Spill some blood. Anyways, it's no no permanent damage, you know, no big deal. Some bruises, some concussions, but you know they they they, they grew up like this, so insanity. Okay, so that was uh, round two, I think. Mm. It's really a funny kind of ring. So it's not octagon, kind of like a circle, but yeah, yeah. I think it's just a circle, man. Now that I look at it. It's not octagon-ish. It's just they had them, um, them poles slash pads, whatever in there, just to hold hold up the whole thing. Boom, boom. Yeah, you see how he's kicking low. Oh, T, beautiful T. Boom. I think Sanchez hurt, man. Those kicks are are weighing heavy. Oh, right there. Did you guys see that, man? That 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 elbow, that uppercut elbow, kind of. Wow, slick. So yeah, Sanchez like left leg. Oh, oh. Yeah, Sanchez getting a beating. Man. He's kicking that uh, that low, low, uh, you know, not not the not the calf, but the um, uh, the other side of the calf. You know, the outside uh, near your um, yeah, it's calf kick actually. Boom. Yeah, he's hurt. He's not showing it. He has the experience and all that, but <sighs> savage, savage. Oh man, oh man. I feel uh, a little bit sad for for Sunshine, man. Kind of, kind of looking old here, you know. Like against a a bigger, stronger. I don't know if they're the same age, but I, I think Boy Cal might be a little bit younger, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys, let me know in the comment section. Oh. Oh, God damn, he's just, yeah, he's hurt. He's moving back, tired. He's trying to, you know, but he still caught him there with elbow. Look at that. Bam. Yeah, but, you know, Boy Cow, if you guys don't know, this guy has a, a chin on him, man. Like, he, he can take a beating, you know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, higher up, more leverage, pushing down on the guy's face like that. Man, just beating, bam, and then just clinching up. You know, he's, he's not even being nice, not giving him a break. He's just, like, beating on him, you know. And they got, oh, it's five rounds. Okay, so round four. Wow. Oh, God damn. Just baseball batting him, man. Bam. And Sunshine just, 
he's gonna try and do something. Oh, yeah. Insane, insane, insane. That's it, man. You know, like size, um, damage to our bodies, injuries, all that shit catches up with you, man. You know, even if, boom. You saw that coming. Boom. Slick. But then, bam, right away. Bam. Paying him. You know, he caught him once, but just hit him four times, five times, six times. Oh, man. Man. Wow. Yeah. So you see, such a beautiful art. I got to do more of that. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up in top. Hey, guys, I'm probably going to end up in Vietnam in, uh, in January. And yeah, that's where I have to head because I got to be out of Europe for because I can't be longer in Europe than uh, the 90 days. So after that, I got to be out of the country and I'll be back in Europe uh, afterwards. But I'll be uh, I'll be in Asia. So if I end up in Thailand, I'm definitely going to train, you know, not necessarily uh, spar. But me, me at this point, guys, I'm 44. So I'm training for myself to be the best that I could be. But obviously... Um, I have to rehab my injuries, be very careful how I train, not get hurt and concussed because I do need my brain to, you know, to function in society like all you guys do, but by the way. So, bam, but you could still train and become high level. Oh, spinning back, spinning kick. That was nice. Sorry, guys. Delete the commentary. Oh, swept them. Man, my cow looks old here, man. Looks tired, but, you know, I mean, it's not just, it's not just the cardio guys because he's getting a beat of his life. Like uh, Boy Cow's just putting it on him. He's like, oh, you're going to buy that beer, man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make you eat your words. Oh, you, you really thought that you could beat. Bam, my baseball bat. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, he's he's orthodox. Boom, sunshine. Ah, ah. Boom. God damn. So much experience in these two guys. Insanity. I'm going to have to watch uh, other commentaries on this. So Varga for sure. And I know uh, Coach uh, Coach Sahabi from TriStar Gym, he's going he's, he's gonna to make a video on this for sure. And I, I'd love to see what he, how he's going to break it down and um, how he's going to explain things. Because I'm looking at this, and there's a lot of things I understand, but there's a lot of things I don't. So like I'm really into striking. Uh, I'm more – I've, I've Spent more time doing grappling, but man, striking is shit. Like, gotta gotta know how to learn. You gotta learn how to strike, man. Bam, bam. Learn how to kick, and all this. Look at this beautiful. Bam, bam. Elbows. Bam. Clinch work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Boom. Oh, he's just punishing him. Punishing him. Hard. Oh. Sunshine, <laughs> look at him, he's complaining. Oh, come on, shut up, shut up, Olga. He's like, oh, he did, he did the illegal thing. Yeah, well, you know, you kind of threw him on his ass, like, you know, 20 times prior. Oof, step out, boom, boom. Man, if they were the same size, though, I wonder, I wonder if they were the same size. Well... The good news is uh, Sancho didn't get, no one got knocked out. So that was pretty impressive. But I think it's very clear and evident that uh, that Boycott won. But let's let's wait till, um, it's the first time me watching this as well. So let me see if, uh, who whose hand they're going to raise. I think obviously it's going to be Boycott. I, I would bet money on it. Um, but you never know. Because it was a real match. It wasn't a exhibition. Or was it was it sold as an exhibition and they just went at it? Mm, not sure, not sure. Damn. Yeah. He's in he's in pain. But <laughs> like look at it. no cuts, no bruises, no nothing. Insanity, man. These guys are um just, just so conditioned. Yeah, I think one of the best conditioned athletes out there, at least for striking sports, right? Mm. Hell, even even yeah, even MMA, they're not as conditioned as these guys. So when I say conditioning, I'm not talking about necessarily I'm not talking about cardio. I'm talking about their bodies being able to take a beating. 
you know, like to be able to absorb, uh, you know, bone density, tendons, ligaments, you know, being adapted to uh, taking a beating at this level. Um, so, yeah, and, and you can tell right there, Sanchez looks a little bit uh, disappointed, you know, sad. Something might have happened during the fight, too. You know, like he might have uh, um, he might have gotten hurt earlier on. And sometimes that changes the way you fight as well, right, from, from my understanding. And that makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you do enough sparring, uh, whether it be in, in, uh, in grappling or in striking, like you're going to, you, you understand that things just happen in a fight, man, you know. But at least in, you know, when you're at the gym, you have the luxury of stopping. <laughs> In a ring, you just have to keep going right? and do do what you can. And the winner, the the black Asian. <laughs> I can say that because well, I'm Asian as well. Yeah, too big of a size difference. Lick it. Yeah, I'm sure he outweighs him by at least maybe ten to twenty pounds. Winner by unanimous decision. Yeah, but. I think he had to go in like that because how else are you going to go in? Like, you know, like Sanchez, no joke. All right. So I'm going to stop this right here. Boom. All right. That's the guy. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary and I'm sure you enjoyed the fight. What do you guys think? Do you think that, um, do you guys agree with me that, um, that, that Sanchez, unfortunately, if, if nothing happened during the fight that caused some kind of, you know, injury, right? I mean, obviously it was a lot of damage, but do you guys think that he was just too small versus an opponent that was as experienced, if not more, okay? And that's why he lost, essentially. Um, you know, because like everything else being equal, size thin matters, right? And I think skill-wise, experience-wise, um, you know, like... Uh, and, and even even fight IQ wise and aggress uh, being aggressivity wise, you know, uh, finishing ability wise, all that's I think it's pretty much equal in my opinion. Like I I don't know uh, too too much about um, you know Muay Thai and have that much experience. I mean, but I think yeah, that's uh, and I think that's why he lost. You know, and of course like. Even if they were younger, if they were both younger, and I think he might be slightly older, but I think that Boy Cow, uh, I mean Boy Cow is slightly older and 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 um, and Sanchai younger, but I think that even if they were both younger at their prime, let's say, it would have been uh, a very similar outcome. So let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to hey share this video with somebody who hasn't watched the fight yet. And yeah, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.